you leave me? Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to D and D, not Dungeons and Dragons, mind you. If you know who I am, you know who I am. If you don't know who I am, now welcome. Hope you are glad that you know me. <laughs> Quick video for today, I have plenty on my plate, let's get into it. Men, piece of advice I give to you, that I can give you when it comes to dating women, is you can't wing it. You've got to know game, you've got to know how to talk to her, you've got to know how to escalate things, you've got to know how to text her. Because the average woman these days wants the above average man. No woman in this dating era is going to settle for less than anything above average. And you have to set yourself apart from the rest of the pack. You have to. Because the deal with that is, is that if you're buying into these ideologies about, you know, the notion of the one and treating women like a princess and everything else, you're going to lose because she's going to walk all over you. She's going to use you like nobody's business. you can't win these things if you go on a date with a woman and you know you're just going in there doing this that and the other and don't actually have a set game plan because that's what game really is it's just a game plan adapting to you strategically adapting to situations when it comes to seducing women if you do not have one of those in place when it comes to dates you're going to lose you're not going to secure anyone and your chances will be significantly lower in either gaining a girlfriend or, you know, landing a one-night stand. Or multiple dates thereafter. Now, a woman can, you can do all the things right and a woman can still flake. That's perfectly fine. That happens because an ex could come back into the picture or anything like that. But, if you do not know what you're doing, you're going to lose. Goes for, like, you know, dating a woman. You're in the stages of, early stages of a relationship or whatever the case may be. You know, everything's going fine, she's texting you, you're texting her, and all of a sudden you don't hear from her. What do you do? Do you blindly go in texting her, panicking, wondering, well, where's my baby boo? No, you do not do that. You pull back also. Because she's testing you, you have to understand these things, and that's where men fall, that's where men trip up. Because you're using your emotions to try and get her to come towards you. And women don't like that. Women don't like weak men. If you do that to her and text her constantly, if she's pulled away, she sees you as weak, thank you, next, good luck. Because in her eyes, you are communicating subconsciously and also consciously that you are not of high value, that you do not have many options because as she did not text you back or has not texted you a day or two, you're losing your marbles. You haven't heard from her. And she can see right through that. Women are very coy when it comes to this kind of thing. They have a great radar. They have a super radar to distinguish whether a guy is desperate or competent. They do. I, I, if you want to you know, go against me on that one, by all means necessary, go ahead. But that's how I see it, and that's my opinion. You just have to know what to do. Now, are you going to be the master of dealing with women straight away? No. Of course you are not. Of course you are not. Because with everything in life, everything comes with experience. To get better at something, you have to experience it. Want to get better at playing guitar? Keep practicing. Experience breeds competency. Competence leads to confidence. If you know what to do, then you're a mile ahead in the game. Now you might not get, you won't get everything right. Not might not get everything. You won't get everything right. But you learn. You will learn from things you apply, from what I tell you, from what I teach you. You apply that to your dating life. Things might not work out all the time, but grace, you will learn, you adapt, and you keep on going. And keep moving forward. My next thing is one thing I've learned about women when it comes to dating. Women ain't all that men. Women, I'll say that two more times. Women ain't all that, and women ain't all that. Am I saying I do not like women? No, of course not. I love them. 
I love the feel of them, I love how they smell sometimes, I love how they look, the ones I'm attracted to, I like those big titty anime girls, <laughs> goth girls should I say, never mind, those big chesticles, I enjoy that, you know, I enjoy that. Now, but the ain't all that for the third time, because you realise is that once you get better at dating, once you get better at talking to women, once you get better at approaching women, you can you can nearly set your watch as to what they're going to do. Like if they do something, oh, I, I know how to counter that. I know how to react to that. And you get to a stage where, like, for me, having multiple women at once over a span of time, I, obviously they come and go because people like life. People do come and go. So do women. Women will always come and go. But your life's mission is always around. But I digress. You realise from having a lot of women, when you get to that stage, it's like, oh, this is great. If I don't have any, that's fine. But if I do want some, I can get back to that stage that I was at. Once you know the game, once you know what to do, it all accumulates into this abundance mindset where you don't care if you have a woman or not now it's always nice to have a woman but if she goes fair enough next boss is in 15 minutes so the into all that am i saying that women are not important to that i'm not saying that because they are important for obvious reasons i'm not hating on anyone either i'm saying you realize that when you become more confident in yourself when you become more comfortable in yourself once you know yourself a lot more once you get to know women for who they are and how they operate you can learn to live without them that you do not need their external validation to make you feel good on the inside because you get that from yourself and from your purpose and from being better and from self-improving and from having friends that's what it is men we don't need women I'm not saying to do things in your own direction I'm not saying that but you have to get to a place of abundance and not live in scarcity if she goes fine because if there's one cardinal rule when it comes to women another one I'll throw up there is that they will do what they want whenever they want and you cannot stop them if you try to stop them you're the needy boyfriend you're the needy guy it seems like that. It's like a cat. You have to let the cat wander around and it'll come back to you. You stay put. You do your own thing. What she does should not phase you. If she steps out of line, great, leave her. That's how we should go, gentlemen. So make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, if you listen to this on any streaming service, please leave me a voice message. We'd love to hear your thoughts or ideas or any future videos or things I can discuss. Until then, take care, God bless, and stay safe.